Hello, this is Cityscape, a regular vodcast featuring people, places, and ideas that impact our community. I'm Dan West with the Livonia Westland Chamber of Commerce. Today we meet a father-son team supported by a beloved waitress who built a loyal following for decades at this long-standing Livonia restaurant. Whale Bamey purchased the Big Boy Restaurant on Plymouth Road near Farmington Road in 2000. The restaurant was initially constructed in 1958. It was the latest restaurant venture for the entrepreneur who has worked in food service since he immigrated to Metro Detroit in 1971. In 2014, his contract with Big Boy expired and he developed his own concept at the 175 seat restaurant with Annie's Family Dining, named for a business partner whose wife had recently passed away. With his disciplined approach to food and service and consistent contributions to schools, seniors, and first responders, he maintained a loyal following of customers through the brand change. Whale's in the process of turning management of the restaurant over to his son, Jason. Both are with us today. Whale, Jason, thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Dan. Thanks for coming. Uh, Whale, what has been the key to your sustained, sustained success here at this restaurant? Something I depended on uh, from many years ago, which is the three Q's, I call it. Quality service, quality food, a quality cleanliness. So that, I, I put it in my uh, mind that if you work on all three of them and give the customers your best, uh, I guess uh, you would know that it's gonna be a successful business. And I assume that's something you drove home to everybody who worked for you. For of the course, years. yes, yeah. yes. I mean, constantly reinforced and all yes. that, so. Um, Jason, what are the signature dishes here? And are there any uh, any unique stories of how you develop those dishes? Um, we got a couple. Um, we uh, have a henny penny. It's like a corned beef hash, and we put poached eggs on top of it with hollandaise sauce. Um, I gathered a lot of ideas when I left the restaurant for a little bit. I worked in food service sales. So I visited a lot of different customers every day, every week. I saw what worked for them, I saw what didn't work for them, and when I came back to the restaurant, I kind of took a little from here and a little from there and I implemented it um, into here. So, we also have a Philly steak that worked out really well, um, everything from scratch. Um, people, A lot of people come in for that. Our Polish combo is a very big hit. Um, it's pierogies, kielbasa, sauerkraut, and our homemade potato cakes. and then. We also do the uh, potato cakes is also a full order too. Um, we do all of our soups homemade. We have four soups daily. Um, they're all made from scratch. On Fridays, we have our clam chowder, which is also homemade. Um, and that one turned out to be a really big hit. Chicken noodles on the menu every day. And then uh, we rotate the soups out every two or three days. Jason, talk about growing up as a kid with your dad. I'm sure you worked plenty of hours as a young man in this restaurant and uh, talk about the lessons you learned working with your dad. Even before this restaurant, I've been going to work with my dad since I was probably five years old. Uh, there was actually one time where I wanted to go to work with him so bad and he wouldn't let me. So I hid in the back of his car and when he was almost to work, I popped out. He was after the drive in for 45 minutes. <laughs> Surprise. <Yeah. laughs> he was a little upset and drove me home. But um, yeah, learn, I just always watching him, watching what he did. So this came as like a second nature to me when it was time for me to work. Um, the way he talks to customers, the way he treats the employees, the way he builds relationships um, from the office to the front of the house. I just, I've learned so many things I wouldn't know where to start, but he really set me up for success as far as knowing how to handle the hospitality business. Talk about that, Pat. You wanted to go to work. I've heard stories where a business owner dad brings kid along, kid doesn't want to come, but you wanted to come. Oh. Talk, what drove you to want, at a young age, to say, I dig what dad's doing? I grew up with him having his own restaurants, and there was many along the way, and I just, I always found it fascinating, and I always knew that's what I would end up doing. Just, just off of watching him, he was always happy to go to work. He never came home and said, you know, I don't want to work. He, he would go to work for fun. You know, we would go on vacation to Cedar Point or somewhere and come back, it would be five o'clock and he'd still go to work even though he didn't need to. So just that type of stuff is, you know, 
got me. The kind got of me. things that you see with the restaurant owner. Yes. Uh, they, they have to be there. Which yes. Is what they do to succeed, right? It's a tough business, but at the end of the day, it's your business. Mm -hmm. So you got to do what's right. And, you know, if you look at it as a job, you're not going to, you're not going to love it. I look at it as a lifestyle. So, you know, early mornings, late nights, holidays, whenever you got to be there. But just being here and interacting with the customers and employees is what makes us happy. It's a good segue to the last question I want to ask you, Whale. Um, talk about the connections you've made through the years and the relationships you've developed. Obviously, the people is ultimately why you come to work every day. You know, we talked about success and something I should have brought in earlier. I believe the reason for my success in my business, particularly this restaurant, I've been blessed with a lot of good help. Help that's very uh, loyal to me, been with me for a lot of years, many years. Some of them you know, actually were here way before I even purchased the restaurant. And uh, they, they're good, uh, they make a good connection between me and the uh, uh, customers. Uh, of course, happy employee, make happy environment, smiles on their faces, have customers come back. We know most of our customers by name. We have customers that come in two, twi two three times a day. And, uh, you know, that, that's saying a lot. Uh, we, we try to be as friendly as possible. At the same time, we have great customers here. And uh, that's a good repeat. That's what keeps us happening and going. It sounds like you treat this like your house, you know? It is. It's our it house is, yeah. and we're welcoming guests all the time, right? Yes. Actually, my wife tells me this is my first home. <laughs> I'm sure she's being a little sly with that, right? <laughs> so, but to Whale and Jason, congratulations on your success through the years right here. We appreciate your time today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much. Right. One of the reasons the Bamies have had such a loyal following is their stalwart waitress, Denise Houston, a Livonia resident who has worked for at this property for nearly 49 years. Denise, what drives you to continue to hustle here as a waitress? The love of the business. It's an adrenaline. You get to take care of people the way you want to be treated. The quality of the restaurant, the management, the owner, they just put their heart into it and I put mine right with them. So you love that connection you make with your customers? Yes. That must be the driving force for you. Or to, even to a stranger, to, to, to make them smile and tell them mm -hmm. to have a good day. So that, so knowing that somebody's smiling back to you, that's really the payoff for you right. for the day? Right, right. So. Or when they say, thank you, this really was a nice meal, a nice okay. service. That means a lot. So in that moment, you're like, okay, I, yep. I rocked that out, eh? Yeah, I did so, it. So. Um, I imagine when you've been, you know, five decades at one property, you've come across multiple generations of families that come in here. At least four. Wow. Talk about, talk about that and just obviously that adds to the connection that people come here and they want to see you and they want your kids and grandkids to see you. You just get to watch them raise their families and the kids graduate from school and, you know, become husband and wives and parents and then grandparents. And so you're following their whole life story right, along with this. Right. When they lose someone, you lose someone too right with them. Well, Denise, that's an inspirational story and we appreciate you taking time to talk to us today. Thank you. So, and that's all we have for this edition of Cityscape. We thank you for finding time to join us today. And we'll see you again next time. Mm -hmm.